Welcome to this week's security report. I'm Paul McAdam. Thanks for joining us. The Ghana Police Forces Traffic Department is advising the general public that with immediate effect, all learning drivers' theoretical classes have been suspended until further notice due to the coronavirus disease or COVID-19. The general public should also note that as part of measures against COVID-19, no application for barbecue permits, fairs, parties, or any other public event will be processed. Regional police commanders across the country will not entertain such requests until further notice. And in other news, the Ministry of Public Health, in collaboration with the Police's Welfare Department, held a coronavirus sensitization workshop with ranks from the police headquarters on March 18 at the Police Officers Training Center Eve Leary with Dr. Karen Bancroft from the Public Health Ministry. Some coronaviruses, it should be noted, can be transmitted from person to person, usually after close contact with an infected patient, for example, in a household, workplaces, or healthcare setting. Some reports also indicate that persons who have not developed symptoms may be able to transmit the disease infecting others. What is recommended by the World Health Organization, WHO, is frequent hand washing, maintaining of social distancing, avoiding touching the eyes and mouth, and practicing respiratory hygiene. Remember, if you have a fever, cough, or difficulty breathing, call the coronavirus hotline numbers on 227-496-229-7490-231-311-66-226-7480-624-3555. And the Minister of Public Security, Kemar Dramzatan, says he will have to make some real hard decisions to possibly revoke the licenses of business entities which are flouting social distancing rules. He explained that police ranks will now warn patrons to disperse and licenses of bar owners could be suspended as part of the effort to ensure that operators heed advice. Minister Ramjitan made a disclosure during a live late-night discussion on Wednesday on the official APNU Plus AFC Facebook page. He expressed disappointment that many citizens continue to display a cavalier and carefree attitude towards the global pandemic. The National COVID-19 Task Force recently expressed deep concern about the large numbers of persons continuing to ignore the advisories of social distancing and the need to practice good hygiene. That task force is urging persons to decluster in public spaces, to zealously practice social distancing, and to refrain from socializing as much as possible. Guyanese are also advised to spend as little time in public as is possible and only leave their homes when absolutely necessary. And let's tell you now that 21-year-old Sheldon Smith, a mason of underneaming on the West Bank of Demerara, was on Friday last charged with the murder of Rosignol businessman Tony Bisnott. Bisnott was shot dead outside his snacket on March 13. Police headquarters said that Sheldon Smith was arrested March 16 and appeared at the Fort Wellington Magistrate's Court. He was not required to plead to the charge and was remanded to prison until April 21. And 20-year-old Fabian Abraham is in police custody in Region 9 after he allegedly beat a 48-year-old farmer to death with a piece of wood during an argument on Wednesday. Dead is Liron Alt, also known as Junior of Moko Moko Village in the central Rupununi. Alt and the suspect met at Kanuku Drive when they were imbibing with three others when a heated argument later ensued. The suspect struck Alt's head and chest with a piece of wood. Alt was taken to the Latham Regional Hospital where he later succumbed to his injuries whilst receiving medical attention. And a 38-year-old driver of Ridesless East Coast de Marara surrendered to the police in the company of his lawyer after he struck down and killed a 61-year-old pedal cyclist Saturday night at the intersection of Brigdam and Chamel's Place in Georgetown. The driver showed up at the Abertong police station on Sunday with his lawyer. Police said at around 20 hours on March 21, motor car PXX3934 was proceeding east along the northern carriageway of Brigdam Public Road when the cyclist Vibert Tyrrell was proceeding south along Chalmers Place and on the approach to the intersection, he rode from north to south into the part of the vehicle. As a result, Tyrrell sustained severe injuries and was later pronounced dead at the scene whilst the driver fled the scene. Now, let's tell you, there are no major highlights from the Ghana Defence Force since the GDF's ranks remain in line in keeping with operating regulations during this post-elections period. Now for this week's wanted list, Madeleine Orlando Evans and Carlo Evans are wanted by the police for questioning in relation to the murder of the aforementioned Tony Bisnott on March 13, 2020 at Carriage Road, Rosignol, West Bank, Babis. The force has also issued 
A wanted bulletin for 33-year-old Marissa Ahmad, also known as Marissa Ali, in connection with a simple larceny committed on Stanislas McCoy. Police headquarters said that the woman of Annandale East Coast Demerara committed the offence on February 4th this year at the Ocean Spray Hotel, Stanley Place, Katie Georgetown. Also wanted is 18-year-old Steve Narchibald in connection with the murder of 23-year-old Kyle Chase, stabbed to death on December 30 last year at Mazaroni Street in Guy Hawk Park. Police headquarters said that Archibald's last known address is Lot 136 Victoria Street, or Boyston, Georgetown. Now, anyone that may have information leading to the arrest of the above-mentioned wanted persons is asked to contact the police on telephone numbers 226-697-8, or of course, their nearest police station. That's it for this week's security report. Goodbye.